This reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 5 and 6. And now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and gather Israel to himself. For I am honoured in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has been my strength. He says, it is too small a thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In our Advent reading today, we'll see that Jesus is the light of the world, the light of the world. In Isaiah's prophecies, he speaks about a special servant, a special servant to the Lord who will do remarkable things. And here in our reading today, we hear that God promises that this servant will bring back his people, his Old Testament people, Israel and Judah, will bring them back to God. That all those descended from Jacob will be brought back to God. Now that's a massive thing, isn't it, that God will bring back his people to himself. But in our reading, it says that's not all he's going to do. Actually, this promised servant is going to be a light. It's my torch. It's going to be a light, uh, but not just for Israel, but it's going to be a light for the nations, for the whole world. That actually the Lord Jesus is going to not only bring back people who uh, want to come back to God from, from Israel, those descended from Jacob, but actually it's going to be a light to the whole world. He's going to bring salvation to all the nations that you may bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. Jesus is that servant. Jesus brings God's salvation to the whole world. And that message has even reached us. What an amazing thing that is. Well, let's, uh, this Christmas time, look to Jesus, the light of the world, the one who brings salvation. And let's encourage others to look to the light, look to Jesus, the light of the world, that they too might enjoy God's great salvation. Let's pray, shall we? Father God, we thank you that Jesus is the light of the world. Lord, we thank you, you bringing people from all nations to yourself. Lord, we thank you that this message has come to us. And Lord, we pray that we'll trust in Jesus and live in the light. And we'll also encourage others to come to Jesus too. We pray it in his name. Amen. <laughs>